الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله من الله سبحانه وتعالى إنكريس إن على فس نالج السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بگن سسٹرز دا ارلی مارننگ ڈرل اوکی لائک ای ملٹری ہوا ہما ہم یا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ہوا ہما ہم یا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ہوا ہما ہم ہیا ہما ہن انتا انتما انتم انتی انتما انتن انا نحن ما شاء اللہ now the same thing we will apply to our verbs in the sequence doing all the things in sequence inshallah will make it easy for us this is the foundation and you will see later on how helpful it is to us, you know. Kataba. Do you remember the conjugation? Yes. Inshallah. Ready? Kataba. Kataba. Katabu. Katabat. Katabata. Katabna. Katabta. Katabtuma, katabtum, katabti, katabtuma, katabtunna, katabtu, katabna. Ready? Are you ready? Huwa, kataba. Hiya, katabat. Hum, katabu. Hunna, katabna. See, all these things I want that if we practice every day, within a week or two weeks, it will come to you. Very fast and automatically. Okay, brothers and sisters. Ana kataptu. Anta katapta. Antum kataptum. Anti katapti. Nahnu katabna. Inshallah. We'll practice. Huh? Okay. Ready? Next one. Kharaja. Okay. خرج 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 خرجت خرجت خرجنا خرجت خرجتما خرجتم خرجتي خرجتما خرجتنا خرجت خرجنا نحن خرجنا أنا خرجت أنت خرجت أنت خرجتي أنتم خرجتم هو خرج هي خرجت هم خرجوا هن خرجنا see right now you have to think but inshallah it will come very fast to you 
will get used to it, right? inshallah. But don't you find a little more comfortable now than last week? Yes. You will get better and better, inshallah. Okay. Zahaba. These are the verbs which will come in the... Uh, these were, these will come. Huh? And then I'll write, let me write down. Jalasa and Raja. Huh? These are the verbs which will come in that lesson. And remember one thing, whenever there is a fiel, there is a file. Huh? If I say kharashtu, tu is the file. And file is always marfu. So tu is marfu, not because of dhamma, but it is marfu. For example, if I say kharashta, where is the file? Ta. No, ta has a fata, but it is marfu. Because all, all the files are Marfu, always marfu. You will remember this rule. All the files are marfu. Now when the file is with the verb, those are pronouns. What are they? Pronouns. That is why we practice hua humahum. These are pronouns. So when you say kharashtu, the file is ana. When you say kharajana, the file is nahnu. In the form of na. When I say kharashta, the file is anta. In the form of ta. Are you with me? So ta is a damir which equals to anta. Sahih? And they are all marfu. Huh? They are all. I will be repeating to inshallah. You will be comfortable. Ready brother? Zahaba. 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 Zahabu. Zahabat. Zahabata. Zahabna. Zahabta. Zahabtuma. Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. Hiya, Zahabat. Hua, Zahaba. Hum, Zahabu. Hunna, Zahabna. Anta, Zahabta. Anti, Zahabti. Nahnu, Zahabna. Nahnu, Zahabna. Ana, I have to. I'm going to give you from in between. No sequence. Huh? Inshallah, you'll get stronger. Next one, brother. Jalasa, Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastun, Jalastu, Jalasna. Huh? Are you with me? Antum jalastum. Anti jalasti. Hum jalasu. Hua jalasa. Hiya jalasat. Ana jalastu. Nahnu jalasna. Mashallah. Next one, brother. Raja'a. Ready? Raja'a. Raja'a. Raja'u. Raja'at. Raja'ata. Rajana, Rajata, Rajatuma, Rajatum, Rajati, Rajatuma, Rajatunna, Rajatu, Rajana. Masha. What is the meaning of Raja? He returned. What is the meaning of Jalasa? He sat. What is the meaning of Zahaba? He went. Kharaja, he went out, you know, left or exited. And Kataba, he wrote. Akala, he ate. Shariba, he drank. Huh? Okay? These are the, you know, you'll always remember the root verb in the root form. It is he did something. He is always there. Huh? In Arabic language, the root goes to he did something in the past tense. Okay? Ready? Now, you know, I always joke with uh, students, you know, that... <coughs> When you start jalasa, it means you are sitting in your car in the garage. The door opens, you drive your car out and then into the street. So we are very careful about children. But the highway 407 is very close to you. Okay? So you start with jalasa. Jalasa, Jalasu, Jalasat, 
Jalasata. As soon as you come to Hunna, you are on the ramp of 407. Are you with me? Because everything is same after that. Huh? Everything is same. Huh? Jealous, jealous, jealous. And you see, when you are on the, on the 407, when you are there, there are no cops. So there are no speed limits. You can drive very fast. Okay? So you come to Jalasu, Jalasat, Jalasata, Jalasna. Jalasna, Jalasna, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Jalastuna, Jalastu, Jalasna. You can go very fast. Okay, you know why? The files are, what are the files? Ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tuna. What is it, brother? Ta tuma tum, ti tuma tum, tu na. So you can, you know, everything remains same. Jalasta, jalastuma, jalastum, jalasti, jalastuma, jalastunna, jalastu, jalasna. Huh? So it's easy, you know. And I had brother students who would say so fast in the class. Sister say, hey, hold on. We don't know where you are going. <laughs> we want to understand, you know. Inshallah, you will become very strong and very fast, okay. Now, brothers and sisters, we did muda mudafilihi. Are you with me? And then we did... I will just write down quickly, huwa huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, brother. And then I'll write down, anta, antuma, antum, and anti, antuma, antunna. And then, Anna and Nahnu. Now see, these Damair, Damir singular, Damair plural, these Damair, brothers and sisters, they are called detached pronouns. What are they called? Detached, detached pronouns. Damirun, Munfasilun. But if you do not remember Munfasilun, just remember detached. And they are always Marfu. Huh? Now, you know, every noun has three cases, marfu, mansub, and majrur. So what is the, f this is marfu. So what is mansub and majrur? They undergo change. But then remain that, that way, all the time. So what is who becomes? Who? Huh? Are you with me? I'm repeating this and huma remains huma. Don't ask me why. I didn't do it. Okay? That's the way the language is. Home remains home. And then here goes to ha, mashallah. Huh? Alhamdulillah, you remember. Humma remains humma. And then hunna remains hunna. Huh? And then anta becomes ka. Huh? Anta becomes. So, whether anta is damir, ka is damir, what is the difference? Padasan, what is the difference? This is detached pronoun and it is marfu. And these are attached pronouns and they can be majroor or mansub. Same, but they are attached. They never come on their own. Huh? They will always be attached. Are you with me? So here are uh, detached, huh, brothers and sisters. These are detached. I'll just put them in a circle. Huh? Uh, these are detached and they are always marfu. You have to remember this. Marfu, mansu, majru. Dhun, dan, din, we will always think. Huh? Always, always. Okay. And then, brothers and sisters, these are attached pronouns. Ka, and then, kuma, and then, kum, and then, ki, kuma, kunna. And then, what is then, brother? Ya mutakallim. You call it? Ya mutakallim. The ya of the person who speaks. It represents the person who speaks. And then nahnu becomes? Na. If you are strong enough in this, I will, inshallah, quote an ayat at the end of the day. Huh? Are you with me? 
One more time. Detached pronouns huh, are all marfu. Huh? And when those pronouns have a form when they are majroor and mansur. And at, at the same time they become attached pronoun. Are you with me? Is it simple? Is it clear, inshallah? Huh? Attached. So, if I say to you, Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me, brother? What is it? Mudaf, book of Muhammad. What is this, brother? Mudaf, Mudafili. How do I say his book? Kitabu, who? See, who joined? Who is joined because it is attached. So, Muhammadin is Majroor. So, who is now Majroor? Huh? Who is now Majroor? Sahih? Huh? Are you with me? Kitabu who? So, what is who now? Mudafilehi. And Mudafilehi is Majroor. Why there is a Dhamma there? Because it is Mabni. It is fixed. Okay? Kitabuhu. That's why I said to you, when the pronoun joins a noun, it becomes mudaf, mudafilehi. Remember this, brother. Huh? When the pronoun joins a noun, huh? we get mudaf and mudafilehi. All the time. So now let us try and uh, do the 14. We will practice and we will get stronger and strong. Ready? Kitabuhu. Kitabuhuma. All join. Huh? Kitabuhum. Kitabuha. Kitabuhuma. Kitabuhunna. Kitabuka. Kitabukuma. Kitabukum. Kitabuki. Kitabu kuma, kitabu kunna, and then kitabi, and then kitabu na, kitabu na. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, we say, you can use them with anything now. Take any noun and put pronoun and make into mudaf, mudafile. Okay, baitu. Baituhu, his house. House of his. Huh? Baituhuma, always say, huh, brother, participate in the class. It's good for you. Uh, your tongue will get used to the pronunciation. Uh, don't, don't sit, you know, quiet. Participate, brother. Kitabuhu, kitabuhuma, kitabuhum, kitabuha, kitabuhuma, kitabuhunna, kitabuka, kitabukuma, kitabukum, Kitabu ki, kitabu kuma, kitabu kunna, kitabi, kitabu na. So it's easy. Very soon you will become very fluent, inshallah. Now one more, inshallah. Kalam. Ready? Kalamuhu, kalamuhuma, kalamuhum, kalamuha, kalamuhuma, kalamuhunna, kalamuka, kalamukuma. Kalamukum, Kalamuki, Kalamukuma, Kalamukunna, Kalami, Kalamuna, Mashallah, Kalami, Kalamuna. Very good. Okay. Now, I want to go a little deeper, but I will leave it now. Because I want to do now, I want to do prepositions. Huh? What happens when the pronoun joins a preposition? The result is? Jar Majroor. Huh? So if I have Min, huh, brother? and then I put Hu, what becomes? Min Hu. Huh? It becomes Min Hu. It becomes Min Hu. Ready? Uh, min Hu. Min huma, min hum, min ha, min huma, min 
هن منك منكما منكم منك منكما من كنا مني منا ما شاء الله you got the idea brother? let's do رب ربه ربهما ربهم ربها ربهما ربهن ربك ربكما ربكم ربك ربكما ربكن ربي ربنا see you read all this in the Quran but you never realize that they are no mudaf mudaf I tricked you I was doing jar majroon and then I brought rabbu rabbu is a noun you see I have experienced with my you know teaching in last six years that if I do all these things before and when the lesson comes it's easier to understand if we were to do lesson first then all these things will come you may say what is going on here but now when we will read the lesson you will have no difficulty inshallah so you will have no difficulty so rabbuhu remember it is in the Quran all the time you know now min who we did brother and then I told you you know that sometimes if there is a kasra before the pronoun are you with me or if there is a ya with a sukun before the pronoun then they change five of them which are those five huwa huma hum and then huma and hunna these change for phonetic reasons you know they sound sweeter if you give them a kasra there is no grammar rule huh? for example brothers and sisters here is a harf jar what is this? Ila. Now, right now, there are no two doubt, dots. Actually, it is Hamza, Lam, and Ya. Right now, we say Ila. It's pronounced as Alif. But as soon as you attached Hu to it, then it, it opens up. The Ya becomes visible. So it becomes Ilai. Now, if I say Elihu, see, look at the way you make your mouth, you know, muscles in your mouth. Elihu, it takes extra effort. And even also, it doesn't sound nice to the ear. So, who became? Now pronounce Elihu. You can pronounce with ease, you know. See, that's the, how beautiful the language is. How logical things are in Arabic language. Huh? Elihu. Okay, are you with me? Same thing will be Allah, another preposition. When you put who into it, it will open up and it will become Alay. Now what will happen? Alayhi. So if you start with Ilah, what will happen now? Ilayhi, Ilayhima, Ilayhim, Ilayha. Ilay hima, ilay hinna, only in five. Okay, brother? Do it again. Ilay hi, ilay hima, ilay him, ilay ha, no change. Ilay hima, ilay hinna. Okay, this will change into he, 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 and he. I'm circling the Dhamma, it is out. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Try to do it now, brother. Ela, elai he, elai hema, elai him, elai ha, elai hema, elai hinna. Is there any grammar change? No. There is no change because of the grammar. No. They are still mabni. We change it because it's easier to pronounce. And then, 
Eleika, Eleikuma, Eleikum, Eleiki, Eleikuma, Eleikunna, and then Eleya. Huh? And I'll again explain why it became Eleya. Huh? And then Eleina. Huh? Okay. Allah. Let's do it Allah. Huh? Alayhi, Alayhima, Alayhim, Alayha, Alay... No, we are doing Alay. Alayhima, Alayhinna. And then, Alayka, Alaykuma, Alaykum, Alayki, Alaykuma, Alaykunna, Alayya. And Alayna. Brothers and sisters, what did we do? We did Jarun. You remember that, huh? Jarun wa majru. Okay, fine, brother. Okay, now let's do B. Harf jar B, which means with. We use it Bismillah, so that is harf jar. Huh? B, okay. So what will happen, brother? Here is a B plus who? Because there is a kasra now. Huh? So it will become B he. Huh? It, it became B he. No, brother. Jarun wa majru. Don't worry. Beginning, we will get mixed up. It is Jarun wa majru. Okay, brother and sister. Bihi. So, ready? Bihi. Bihima. Bihim. Biha. Normal. Bihima. Bihinna. And then, Bika. Bikuma, Bikum, Biki, Bikuma, Bikunna, Bi, and then Bina. Tere Bina kya jiyenge? <laughs> okay, brother. Okay. So, brother, remember, here I always say it sounds like one word, Bi, but actually there are two words in it. One is Ya Mutakalam, and one is Harfcha. So if you divide it, brothers and sisters, so B is with and me, with me. Huh? So we will always remember this, huh, brother. Always remember this. Okay? Fine. Now we come to fee. Huh? Now, fee, how do we write fee, brothers and sisters? What is on ya? No. This is not Yamuta Kalaman, this is Arfja. What is, what is, see, there's a Kasra on Fa. So what is on Ya, brothers and sisters? Sukun. So if there's a Sukun and you bring who, it will become? Fihi. You know why it is Fihi. You, you read it in the Quran all the time. Fihi and Fiha. But why Fihi and not Fi who? No, try. You, when you go home today, go home and stay in front of the mirror and say fi who and then say fi he. See, look at your face. Huh? It's easier to say fi he instead of fi who. Huh? Okay? So it became fi he. Fihi. Huh, brother? Ready? Fihi. Fihima. Fihim. Fiha. Fihima. Fihinna. Fika. Fikuma. Fikum. Fiki. Fikuma. Fikunna. Fiya. Mashallah. Huh? Two yas. Fiya and then Fina. Huh? She always you hear this. Barakalau Fika. Barakalau Fi Ki. Barakalau Fi Kum. What is this Fi Kum Fika Fi Ki? These are our Jar Majrur. Jar Majrur. Okay, now let us uh, come to the base rule, brothers and sisters. I'm writing here. Elay. Huh? Because I want to attach it. A pronoun to it. So I attach ya mutakallam. There are two ya, sukun. We cannot pronounce them. Huh? 
So then, <clears throat> there's a rule in Arabic that if before ya mutakallam, another ya comes, or even an alif comes, then this will change into fata. No, we will not talk about alif, because it comes in book three. It comes in book three. So when it comes, inshallah, we'll study. But now, brothers and sisters, there's a ya with a sukun and ya with a fatha. What should we do now? Shatta. So it will become. It will become. See, do you see? I'm putting hamzatul kata all the time. You got to. You got to get rid of your habit of putting only kasra. If it is hamzatul kata, make it hamzatul kata. Because otherwise. This habit will bother you when you go for higher studies or if you will go to university to take a proper courses, this will become a handicap for you. So I will put now ilayi ya. What is the meaning of ilayi ya? To me. Huh? To me. Huh? Okay. Same way, brothers and sisters, I am running out of space. Fi with a sukoon. Uh, and then ya mutakallim with a sukun two yas so what happens I put a first I put a fata uh, first I put a fata and then I join them together and then it becomes fi ya are you with me you will remember this inshallah uh, it comes in the Quran alayya ilayya comes in the Quran and we will be studying these verses. Huh? Okay. Now, brother and sister, we take zarf. Zarf is easy. There are no problems in zarf. Okay. Enda. Okay. Enda has the meaning of with or at. Huh? So put who in with that? Enda who? No changes. Enda huma. Enda hum. In the ha, in the huma, in the hunna, in the ka, in the kuma, in the kum, in the ki, in the kuma, in the kunna, and then in the, and then in the na. Okay. Now another zarf, knife zarf, brother, it will come in the lesson, and that is. <coughs> Ma'a. What is it, brother? Ma'a. Ma'ahu. Ma'ahuma. Ma'ahum. Ma'aha. Ma'ahuma. Ma'ahunna. Ma'aka. Ma'akuma. Ma'akum. Ma'aki. Ma'akuma. Ma'akunna. Ma'i. Ma'ana. So if you write down ma'i, brothers and sisters, how many words are there? How many? Two. Two. Uh, you know, this is one word. The kasra came because ya pulls it down. Uh, so this is dharf, and what is the next one? Ya mutakalam, pronoun. So mudafili. When you say indahu, what is the combination? Zarf and mudafili. When you say indahum, zarf and mudafili. Are you with me? Is it clear, brother? Inshallah. Now, having said this, I, we will practice a little bit more, brother. Arfjar, li. For or belongs to Hazal Kalamu Lil Mudarris. This pen belongs to the Mudarris. Hazal Kalamu, brothers and sisters. Hazal Kalamu, and then Lil Mudarrisi. Lil Mudarrisi. Okay. What is Haza? Muptada. What is Al Kalamu? Badal. Got the idea? Badal. Huh? And what is the Lil Mudaris? Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Sahi? Now it is Li is Harfchar. 
Hazal Kitabu Li Muhammadin. This book belongs to Muhammad. So it will become Li Muhammadin. Remember, it is Li. Now, let us join Li uh, with who? What did you say? Why did you say love? Because that's the way it is. You know? It li will change into la. When will when will it change to la? When you have pronouns coming to it. Are you with me, brother? It's very easy. I was fascinated by these things. You know, because they are so beautiful when you understand, you can straight go to the Quran and figure it out. Huh? Okay, brother? Li plus who became? Lahu. Huh, sister? Uh, Salma. So, what happened here? That this kasra went into Fatah. Okay? But it's, it is still Jar and Majroor. It is still Jar or Majroor. Where is Jar? Li. Where is Isam Majroor? Who? Huh? Attached pronoun. Are you with me? So, brother starts. Lahu, Lahuma, Lahum, Laha, Lahuma, Lahunna. And then, Laka, Lakuma, Lakum, Laki, Lakuma, Lakunna. Li. All the time comes in the Quran. Li. And then, Lana. Only time. Ya Mutakalim brought it down. Huh? Ya Mutakalim is very stubborn, brother. Always me, me, me. It brought it down. But when it comes to Nahnu, it becomes Lana. Let us do it again. Is everybody comfortable? Or shall I write it? Shall I write it? Okay, I will write it. Because I want you to be, you know, absolutely... Uh, Clear. No, but everything is in your handout. All these things are in your handout. And I can show you a page number. 11. 11. They're all there. Okay, open the page number 11. Huh? Brother, oh, no. you will keep handout handy on your table. And you'll keep your textbook and that key book. Huh? All these things always should be in front of you. So that we can switch. Uh, very quickly. So I'm not writing because it is there. Okay. But because we are doing video, I will also write it, inshallah. Okay, brother. Lahu and then Lahuma and then Lahum and then Laha and then Lahuma and then La. Lahunna. Lahunna. Okay, and then Laka. And then Lakuma. Huh? Lakum. Then I'll write down here. Laki. Laki. Huh? Laki. And then, Lakuma. And then, Lakunna. Then I'm going to write down with red, so that it stands out. Li. And then, brother, Lana. Huh? Lana. Now, tell me one thing. When you come across Li, Huh? Sounds so very simple, Li. Huh? Huh? Most of the Chinese names have Li there. Huh? Okay. They are not Jar Majul. Huh? <laughs> okay. Li, how many words? Two. You have to remember that. Huh? You have to remember. See, we go deep. How many words, Sister Fatima? Two. Tell me what are they? One is Harf Jar. Uh, and the next one is Ya Mutakallim. What will you say? Ya. Ya. Get used to Ya Mutakallim. Huh? What is Ya Mutakallim? Pronoun. 
What is Yamuta Kalin? Pronoun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Is it clear? Fatima, inshallah. Hmm? Sister Faiza, inshallah. Sister Maimuna, is it clear, inshallah? Where is Aisha? Oh. I hope you are showing her, inshallah. Okay, are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is, uh, uh, you, you can lo look into your uh, uh, handout, page 11. Now I go to something else, brothers and sisters. I have to now take you somewhere else. To Muhammadin. Kita bu Muhammadin. And then I put fi here. What will happen now? Fi kitabi Muhammadin. Fi kitabi Muhammadin. What is fi? Harfcha. What is kitabi? Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilay. Fine, brother. Now I am doing something else. Kitabu hu. Now I say fi. Or you can put any preposition. Huh? Any preposition will do the same thing that fi will do. What is fi, brother, here doing? Fi kitabi he. See, it changed. So fi made the kitab majroor kitabi. And who is still a damir? It is mudaf ilahi. But for the sake of pronouncing nicely, we change into kitabihi. No change because of grammar. It is just phonetics, brother. How will you analyze, brother? Fi. Harja. Kitabi. Isam majru. Wa huwa mudaf. And who? And he? Mudaf ilahi. You got the idea? Sister Fatima? Again I say, what is fi? What is Kitabi? Ism Majur. Wahua Mudaf. And where is Mudaf in He. He. Because it is a pronoun. Sahi? It is a pronoun. Okay. Very good. Now, I say to you, what is this, brother? In the who? What is in the zarf? What is who? Mudafili. And in the is zarf. And what is who? Mudafili. Now watch what I am doing. Min. From. What will happen? Min. In the. See? Your mind will, inshallah, become used to it. Men in the he. It's in the Quran. Men in the he. Huh? Men, and then it will become in the, and then will change into. Huh? Uh, okay. But if I say in the ha and put men, Let me write it down. Let me write it down. In the ha. In the ha. Now, I put men here. In the ha. It, ha doesn't change. Remember? Men in the ha. Huh? Because the changes were only huh? in five, not in ha. Huh? And these are these are dummy huh? These are third person pronouns. The changes come in third person pronouns, but only in five. It doesn't affect ha. We can pronounce ha with with a kasra before it or dhamma before it or fata before it. There is no problem. So you will say min andi ha. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No.
What is this? Tahtahu. Huh? What is tahta? Under him. Huh? What is tahta? Under him. What is the grammatical value of this? Tahtazar. And who is? Mudafili. Huh? Mudafili. Fine. Huh? Now I put min. What will happen, brother? Men tahati he. Men tahati he. Got the idea? Are you with me? Men tahati he. Now I write down tahtaha. Now I put min again. What will happen now? Min tahati? Min tahati? Jannatin tajri min tahtiha anhar. See, all the time you know, but we never thought what's happening. See, jara yajri, this is what we will study in book two. Tajri min tahtiha al anhar. Are you with me? So min made tahta into tahti, because this is a noun, zarf or noun. Are you with me, brother? Is it clear? So now, if I say to you, now I think I explained you. This is what I meant to explain you. Huh? Inshallah, it will become very clear. Are you, are you comfortable now, brothers and sisters? We had a good revision. Huh? Okay? And now we go to the main.